Okay, I am digging a hole in a crawl space. Now the reason I'm doing this is to install refrigerant lines for a geothermal system that will heat my house. I live in Colorado so the temperature in the wintertime is very cold and the temperature in the summertime is very hot. So I can use the ground heat or cooling for both to cool the home in the in the summer and heat the home in the winter. That's my theater room. Just trying to give you an idea this is a basement crawl space. If I add a pure crawl space I can do the same thing um, as far as digging it out and, and providing enough room. The only difference is if this were just a crawl space and I didn't have this this half wall here this three foot half wall of foundation I would just dig in the center of the crawl space and offset the footers by a three foot come down 45 degree angle with the dirt in this case I just came back offset it three foot and another three foot because I knew my hole was going to be three foot deep and so I just came off six foot and then started digging down at least about three foot, just enough room to give you headroom and so that your auger has enough room to pull out the pipe and go down in. This is the auger. It will be doing the digging. The one I'm actually using is a little different, but same principle. Basically, it just cuts the soil, fills up its bucket, and you pull it out. The first couple feet of digging are really easy, up to about 20 feet. Then as you get down around 30, 40 feet, this gets real difficult. Now I'm going to show you... Uh, the actual digging. Let's see if this is set up where you can see the hole. Set this up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now, whoops. Now, the first thing I want to do is send everything down into the hole. This auger here is the one I'm using. I have to make sure the clips are, are fastened. These things will come off if they're loose. And if they do, you've lost it. This hole is very, very deep. It took me about, about six hours to dig this one to the depth it's at. And I'm nearly at the bottom. So I'll show you one cycle of digging pulling the dirt out, and then uh, reinserting the auger back down the hole. Now each clip goes in, self-locking. And we'll just send it right down the hole. Each extension is three foot, so if you're counting, you can give an, get an idea how deep this hole is. I'll be doing ten of these in the basement, and I'll run refrigerant, pure refrigerant, in copper line straight down the hole. That will give me a better delta T for heat transfer than water would. Water freezes at 32 degrees and if your ground temperature is 50 you've only got a delta T of, of 18 degrees. If you go Freon, boils at around negative 30. I'm using refrigerant R410A and negative 30 and you've got a ground temperature of around 50 degrees you've got a delta T of 80 degrees. That's a lot of heat transfer for that system. Let me lock this one in. So like I said, if you count each one of these times it by three, it tells you how deep this hole is. Obviously when it's shallow, the digging goes a lot faster. In essence, this is just a giant post hole digger on steroids. 
but it does do the job of digging really deep holes. People have gone 100 feet with these. I'm only going 50. There's a, a clip right there. If I sent it down like that, I'd probably lose the pipe from there on, on down. Should be hitting the bottom here pretty soon. Either this knuckle or the next one. Even lower than that. Now there's the bottom. So I'll take this off, do some digging. Just want to fill that bucket up at the very bottom. Now you can hear it because, like a muffler, the, the sound, if you get stuck, just pick it up. The sound obviously has nowhere else to go, so it comes straight out the hole. Sounds like it's just a couple feet deep. Actually, it's very deep. A lot of times with this really hard soil, because it's clay, and I'm hitting something really hard down there, just back it off, pick it up, just do what you can to keep it rotating. Goes down about four inches every time you do this. Don't be afraid to go backwards because the dirt will pick up, it'll pick, fill that bucket up pretty quick as you go forward. I think I got a full bucket. Give it a couple more turns to make sure. So now I'm going to pull it out. And to do it, we do it the same way as I put it in. You just want this so it holds, holds the drilling rig while you're pulling it out. You have some place to set it. Then just pull it apart. Do not drop these things down the hole. If you do, you've probably lost it. Anything that goes down there is gone. Might be able to pick it up with your auger if you're lucky. If you're counting, every section is three foot. So you can get an idea how deep this hole is just by counting these. The auger itself is probably about a foot and a half at the very bottom. You multiply it by three and then add another foot and a half. Which is a great system for geothermal. Anything below 30 feet is going to give you about a constant temperature regardless what season you're in. So at 50 feet, I've got 20 feet feed, 20 feet return on my refrigerant line. I have a pretty good heat sink. And clay uh, has a pretty good thermal conductivity. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to try to get rid of this heat heater or add heat to the refrigerant, depending if it's summer or winter. A lot better than some soils. 
and it is kind of moist down there so that's good too now there's my bucket so I take this off you can tell it's full so I'm bringing it over here shake all the dirt out of it and that was four inches send it back down again for another try make sure you're locking your pins are locked never let go of this until you've got this thing on it and I'm ready to send it down again.